morning. We continue with our today's Tuesday Entrepreneurship Day where we get to look at uh, how to venture into the marketplace and how to get to see how to trade and of course get some money done. And from Barry's, from Barry's of course segment, we right away come in and today I've got some people from Kenya, Students Christian Fellowship, that is KSCF. Famously known since the 1959s, yes? Yeah, right. uh, let me begin from, probably from you to introduce yourself. Tell us who you are and what you do at KSCSF. Well, my name is Eric Lumosi. Yes. I am the chairman of the Kenya Student Christian Fellowship, Nairobi County. All right. Yeah, let's go right to you. Uh, I am Judith Ogueno, a chaplain at State House Girls. And since the organization works with schools, we are the people on the ground. All right. Uh, my name is Eric Moriongi. I'm a... Uh, the school facilitator in KSC of Nairobi County. Great, it's nice to have you on board this morning. Thank you. Uh, it's great. I want us to have first probably to begin with you, Mr. Chairman. Mm -hmm. You have been in this for some time now, I believe so. Sure. Uh, when people, when people, when young people, rather, let me just, because you're so much based with the high schoolers. Yeah. Uh, when probably they're in high school, what brought their urge to bring in mentorship for them? Yeah, actually, uh, KSCF is a body that yes. takes care of the high scholars and uh, middle level colleges. And uh, these are young people that are looking forth to become. Yes. And therefore, many of them need a lot of mentorship so that they know the direction they are supposed to venture into, put a lot of their effort mm -hmm. so that eventually they become a people <coughs> of substance in the society. Yes. Without the mentorship, the support that they need, it will be like uh, many people that have even finished school and uh, they, they, they are not very clear mm -hmm. about what they are, what mm -hmm. they are supposed to do. Probably a junk of many trades, but a master of none. Mm -hmm. And therefore, no, it, it's not very profound. Yes, and yes. therefore now this mentorship is meant to support the young people, mm -hmm. especially to have a direction which will help them in the future. Yes, and of course, let me go straight to you, Dr. Judith Ogreno. Yes. Uh, you are a high school teacher, yes, and I that am. is a principal. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> The school chaplain. The school chaplain, Head yes. of department English. <laughs> department of English, all right. That's, I'm so I need to know my English well. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, when young people, or rather mm -hmm. the, the, the students, mm -hmm. once they leave high school, oftentimes mm -hmm. the information that you have mm -hmm. will either lead you the right way or rather lead you the wrong way. Yes. And then in terms of like, what do you want to do after high school? Mm -hmm. In terms of the entrepreneurship skills, what are some of the things that you'd advise? that I'd advise the youth to do. Yes, in terms of entrepreneurial skills, what, when oh. mentorship, when they're launching out, out of high school. Oh, that's interesting, because I was listening to the lady who came before us, yes, yes. talking about the tech opportunities in mm -hmm. technology. And I've seen students do that. I've seen those who, who sell their um, art, mm -hmm. or spoken word, yes, yes. music. Mm -hmm. In fact, recently I was watching someone on another television station and I'm thinking, that's a girl I saw through high school. She's there doing activist work, but right. they also paid at the end of the day mm -hmm. when they do this work. I have some who do bead work, others are doing, um, what do you call this, so sewing, tailoring, mm -hmm. but at high levels, yes, you know, yes. providing, uh, and some just provide information. Others also come back and give input back to the school. But they're given some, we call it facilitation yes, or transport. Yes, yes. At the end of the day, they're making something they can live with. Mm -hmm. But a number of them, I find them getting into groups and starting something that works for them. Mm -hmm. And majority, because they're techno-savvy, yeah. they find that very comfortable. <laughs> the gadgets. So I believe the principles that we put in them when they're in school, because mm -hmm. unless you have principles to work with, yes. anything passes. Mm -hmm. That is what stabilizes them. And once their character mm -hmm. and morals are facing a certain way with proper mentorship, mm -hmm. they always find a way to survive. Especially as they're in college, you'll find they're paying fees doing whatever they are doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, probably just to come to you, the coordinator of Nairobi, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the things that you're looking at when you look at young people mm -hmm. and the way to venture into the marketplace? Once they're done with their high schools, then they're venturing into university. Mm -hmm. Some of the things that probably you look at and really consider. I think um, first thing, uh, most of the young people need to know work ethics mm -hmm. outside there. Yes. They need to know what is supposed to, to be done and how it should be done. Mm -hmm. Because we agree that if I'm out there without knowledge, I'm out there without knowing what exactly should be done, mm -hmm. I might miss it. <coughs> and again, you realize that work ethics revolves around a lot of things yes. in different professionals and uh, grounds of work. Mm -hmm. 
but all of them combined together mm -hmm. personally wish them to have values mm -hmm. because now that's what will sustain you in any venture outside there mm -hmm. values that that are going to promote your character values that are going to promote how you work every single day mm -hmm. because if they don't have the values they might not they might not be effective even if they have at least a long list of work ethics yes, in yes. any company yes. so values are very key according you, to me you have mentioned two things about knowledge yeah. and character yes you see when you're launching out into the marketplace that thing there's something that we usually say about knowledge is power and it liberates yes do you think that we have enough knowledge with the people that we're dealing with today in the marketplace we have, by the way, we have. Mm -hmm. There are people who are very, very loaded mm -hmm. with good information. What is happening is that our access to them is quite limited, mm -hmm. or rather the young people, they are, they are fearful to mm -hmm. approach them to get that knowledge. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. knowledge is outside there. It's full, it's full. P probably just to come to back to you, mm -hmm. do you think the, the, the CBC, by any chance, will help improving in terms of the mentorship, in terms of growing them for entrepreneurs? If it is done the way it is on paper, uh -huh. it's a beautiful program. Mm -hmm. I was looking at some of the skills they want to pass, creativity, yes. collaboration. Mm -hmm. That will also enhance the peace we have in the nation. Uh, what do we call it? Collaboration, which mm -hmm. even, even involves working with parents. The other day I saw a parent making for one of the children something, you know, using right. wood. Yes. <laughs> those, those aspects of creativity, communication skills, mm -hmm. developing the better. The idea that learning to learn. Mm -hmm. You know, right now we are learning for... Jobs. Because we must learn, yes. yes. Or, or, I don't know, mm -hmm. for schooling, educating. Mm -hmm. But they are learning because there's a purpose in that learning. Mm -hmm. When I look at those competencies that are on paper mm -hmm. and what it is supposed to translate into, I think that would be the perfect person. Yes. But of course, first things first. Mm -hmm. What do you, when you have a perfect thing on paper, yes. even God, before he started creating, mm -hmm. had a master plan. Mm -hmm. This master plan must have everything put in place. Mm -hmm. And since we are not God, at least try. Mm -hmm. So if everything is put in place and all those so what, what are they saying? We, we see images of children learning under trees. Yes. Okay, with the competency-based education, you can, mm -hmm. because again, one of the issues there is problem solving. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Problem solving. Mm -hmm. But if it is done well and the teachers are guided well, mm -hmm. I think it will work. I may not go to the former system. My belief is you train people, give them the opportunity, mm -hmm. whatever you have on table can work. It's yes. like we are telling the youth, mm -hmm. out of nothing, make a business. <laughs> and they're making nothing out of a business. One will come here, look at us and decide, can I give you new suits? They make one with a patch here. That's mm -hmm. a business. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on what we do with <laughs> <laughs> what we are given. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes, the All CBC right. will work, uh -huh. but yeah. we must really face the situation as it is mm -hmm. and be, be ready to yeah. critique mm -hmm with open open mind, right. especially mm -hmm. the people who are at the top. Yes, let yes. them hear what we are saying on the ground. Mm -hmm. let, let us hear what they are saying together. Yes. Let us help the child. Mm -hmm. sure. yeah. Probably, probably to, to look at, having to look at some of the issues that have been happening probably in high schools, uh, doctor, mm -hmm. uh, some of the things that have really em been emerging, there are fire tragedies mm -hmm. that have been mm -hmm. happening. Mm -hmm. And when we look at it, it's, is it like the, the students are lacking information? Are they lacking information? They have so much information. Mm -hmm. But you know, information does not say it's right or wrong. It's all information. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they have information. But what my take is, mm -hmm. when you see these tra 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 tragedies mm -hmm. <laughs> taking mm -hmm. place, there's a deeper thing inside. Mm -hmm. I may have information, but I'm blinded. Yes. I can't use it because something inside here is mm -hmm. wrong. Mm -hmm. One of the things I've seen over time, I've taught for the last 26 years. All right. There's a lot of breakage a lot of the family values that are broken. Mm -hmm. The society foundations mm -hmm. are broken. Mm -hmm. We bring up children in this foundation mm -hmm. hoping that like, you know, they're like this table. Yes. They will not feel. Mm -hmm. oh, they feel. Yes. So a child will know it is wrong to burn a school. Mm -hmm. They even know the parent worked so hard to pay. But there's a bitterness. Mm -hmm. When there's bitterness mm -hmm. as a root in the heart of somebody, mm -hmm. it blinds them. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, there are those who are bent <coughs> on giving them wrong information. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's anything like wrong mentorship, but <laughs> <laughs> it has to be good. Has to be good, good bad, yes. yes. So there are those who probably have an agenda. Mm -hmm. Like if I want morality to be corrupted, mm -hmm. I just need to create something mm -hmm. that will sell, mm -hmm. whether it's movies, whatever. And when the children now have that as the moral guiding factor mm -hmm. from the internal, then they'll do things that are evil. Yes. You know. And basically, for me, I take it back to the breaking of the small foundations that we take for granted. Right. Including the fact that I don't see 
when we were younger, mm -hmm. and they really hate when we say that, but we just have to say we're in the society. Uh -huh. The issue of greeting an older person, shikamo, mm -hmm. maraba, mm -hmm. <laughs> those things helped. Mm. So the fact that that doesn't exist, uh -huh. we'll knock each other on the compound. Yes. So, <laughs> And, uh, uh, when we talk about <laughs> that thing, let me come to Mr. Eric. Yes. Uh, when we're talking about mentorship, she has mentioned about something, you know, Kusalimana back in the days, how it used to be. What are some of the topics that you discuss or rather go through with the students once you visit their schools? Well, uh, you see, as, as she posted, mm -hmm. there is problem, especially when it comes now to the peer pressure. Because if there is nobody doing anything, mm -hmm. they still get some influence from their headsets mm -hmm. and uh, some of it probably from the site, the media sometimes and especially when it's negative media yes. and they get involved into it just wanting to practice what they see mm. and therefore much of it eventually is negative and it influences them in the wrong direction mm -hmm. towards them now reaching a point of even say burning the schools mm. or even uh, doing some illicit sexual uh, uh, relations uh, uh, involving themselves in drugs and such like things. So some of the things that we talk about and especially the topics includes now how to have positive uh, uh, peer pressure mm -hmm. and uh, this is where now we direct them towards God mm -hmm. so that now through God they are able to come up with proper values, uh, be disciplined, mm -hmm. at least citing even examples of some of the people that indulged themselves in the wrong way mm -hmm. and eventually ended up bad. Yes, yes, they yes. eventually crashed completely, even to the point of death, mm -hmm. and such like things. So yes, with yes. such kind of examples, mm -hmm. they are able to learn, okay, fine, it's for me now to get the correct thing which can help me do. Uh, live properly in the society. And mm -hmm. from that point, I want to bring you in, Mr. Moriungi. Mm. You'll be having an event mm. actually this week. Yes. Would you mind to probably look at your camera, invite the people, and tell us what it's all about? Well, um, KSF Nairobi County and uh, generally Nairobi, uh, uh, we have a camp designed for the students, high school students. Uh, we expect to bring together schools or other students across Nairobi County and if uh, possible outside to bring them together uh, at Moy Girls from date uh, 9 this Friday mm -hmm. up to 13 on Tuesday. We'll be camping there for the four days to train our students. Basically, it's a whole uh, combined training starting from spiritual things up to the, 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 the social life. Mm -hmm. We are still also wondering the, the, the academics part of it and even the career part of it. So we want to bring them together and work with them for four days and impact them Give them that knowledge we are talking about, yes, yes. give them that skills that we are talking about, mm -hmm. and have uh, profound speakers mm -hmm. who have gone through it. Right. Spiritually, academically, socially, they have gone through it. Mm -hmm. They have overcome. So when students sit down to listen to such people, yes. they get to empower their knowledge. They get even to ask questions and they get answers. So All it's right. a very profound program for us uh, mm -hmm. from Friday to uh, Tuesday. The, I see a topic called Global Youth Culture. Global youth culture, very dy dynamic uh, topic. Mm -hmm. uh, you realize that um, back then, mm -hmm. the issues that affected those people in 1990s and back, yes. they were very, very unfamiliar to people uh, uh, in 21st century. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of things. Those times, technology was out. Mm -hmm. Today, we have um, a million of channels of TVs in our set. Those times, we used to have one channel, mm -hmm. and we are comfortable with that. So there are a lot of things that have changed. With great ones. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the black and white yes. things. We have um, gadgets, phone. Mm -hmm. We used mm -hmm. to go for the booth. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of things that have changed. Mm -hmm. Communication. Yes. Those times, greetings were greetings. Mm -hmm. Communications <laughs> were real. Today. Uh, today, my friend, it's, it's something else. Mm -hmm. So we realize that um, we need to address these things because ideally, you look at them, they are affecting them either negatively, mm -hmm. which is not a good story to, to talk about. Yes. When you talk about music, it's something that is big. Talk about movies. Uh, those times we have a, we had a, a, a karori come into our village to Total do a TV. movie once per month. Yes. Today movies are in series and they are at your disposal anytime, anytime. Mm -hmm. Talk about internet. Mm -hmm. It's a whole big uh, 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 debate to, to and, address. And those are the culture we are talking about. And when you mentioned that, I, I want to come back to mm. Mr. Eric. Uh, he has mentioned something about the parents' initiatives and what they're supposed to be doing. Mm. Do you only deal with students or do you bring on board the parents? Uh, like now this, uh, like the, the, the camp that we have mm -hmm. uh, involves uh, three sets of uh, groups. Yes. We have got the students who will be having a session on their own. Mm -hmm. We have now the, the workers that work with the students and this includes even the parents. They are, we call them associates. 
they could be teachers, mm -hmm. they could be professionals that are, are working with this. They have that calling. Yes. And therefore, we will also be having some sessions with them. Mm -hmm. Then we also have got the young people. During the that, same duration? Nine yes, to do, exactly. Right. Even on the timetable, we have got a session now for the, uh, the associates together in right. one place. And they'll be they're being supported as mm -hmm. well how to become proper leaders and how to take care of these young people. Yes, yes. And then the students themselves alone, they have got their sessions. And they will have the youths now, mm -hmm. the Kesats. We call them the Kesats. Yes, Those yes. that have just finished school and they are either in college, they could be at home they come and then they will have a session in which now they, we have got four pillars for them. For example, mm -hmm. the pillar to do with the social life, entrepreneurship, so that again they are mentored, they are supported towards that direction. Relationship, which is also an issue yes. with them, they are also supported in that light. And some of the challenges that they face generally in life, mm -hmm. they are being given guidelines and uh, how to overcome well, some well, of these challenges. When you talk about that, I'm, I'm, I'm prompted to go to Madam Judith, mm -hmm. about the issue of parents and uh, their, their way of mentoring young or rather their children, because we are looking at the marketplace right now, where mm -hmm. we stand, mm -hmm. we're having, as he mentioned, about the issue of the right information or the rather wrong information that you have, and it will usher you to the next level that mm -hmm. you want. Mm -hmm. yes. Do parents really mentor the youth? Some do. Some do. Parents generally, we, as teachers, we are parents, but some do. But the issue is right now, because of the economic times we are living in, mm -hmm. most parents are busy, it's, the, it's called a rat race. Right. Busy trying to make money for these children, hoping that at one time they'll get time to sit down and talk to these children. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we've discovered anything we never really work hard for, we don't value that much. So there are some parents who are doing their best, but majority are being forced by circumstances and they have to intentionally now start parenting. Otherwise, we will lose many of this generation. Mm -hmm. So we are... Partly in schools, we are working with parents. We invite them for, it's just no longer the normal parents' day, you know, prize giving day. Nowadays we have Father's Day, Mother's yes, Day, yes. Mm -hmm. all facilitated, especially mm -hmm. under the chaplaincy and under the, the, the Christian um, fraternity and the guidance and counseling yes, yes. so that we work together with them. Mm -hmm. So I will not say yes or no, but majority really need help. Very right. desperate. That's mm -hmm. great. You have mm -hmm. told us the camp is happening at Moy Girls. Yes. You have told it's from nine, 9 to 13. Yes. What about the charges? We are charging 1,800 Kenya shillings, right. that is 1,800 mm -hmm. for the students. We are charging 2,000 for the associate, those now the teachers, parents, and uh, those people working closely with us. Right. But that's not the head. We have another unique forum running from date 14th to 17th at Kenya High, uh, bringing together now the chaplains, uh, patrons, Christian teachers, associates, and any other person who would want to a minister to students and mentor mm -hmm. our students. Mm -hmm. So that's another forum for them to attend. With yes. 4,000 Kenya shillings, they'll be, they be, they be trained for those uh, four days. Uh, there's something probably from your poster I've seen. Mm. Unmasking the negative effects of betting. L I think the chairman should really <laughs> respond to this. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the issue of betting in the country? <laughs> yeah, the board in this country did an, uh, a research at the beginning of this year, January up to March. And uh, in their statistics, they were looking at uh, how much money has been pushed into betting. Yes. They realized that about 900 million Kenya shillings that people have just thrown into betting. And they were also looking at how much money have people won so that again now they can advocate for it, they can jump, mm -hmm. they can talk about it mm -hmm. everywhere. The only amount that had been won by the few was 9 million <laughs> Kenya shillings. Now look at the range of the difference. Almost a billion, and here guys have only earned 10 million. Mm -hmm. Now that made the whole big difference. Whereby now, when you look at some of the things that are happening even yes. in the family, you find that there is deterioration, mm -hmm. there are breakages, mm -hmm. there are people that are not living together anymore simply because one went into it. There are people that have died because of betting. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is just because now, nothing good especially to the majority mm -hmm. is happening people are becoming lazy they're not going to work because they they know we'll just bet and get some few amount of money mm -hmm. and uh, the majority are the ones that are losing uh the, the, there is one lady who we fellowship in the church and she was like i've done it i've done it and i've never won 
Mm. My sister has done. She won. <laughs> she won once. <laughs> and the rest of this time, she's not done. So we are leaving this thing. So how so, do you plan? How, what was the strategy probably you have laid down to so try we and have got, We have got an expert, of course, mm. an economic uh, expert that has got even these values at hand. Oh, right. And uh, he, he, it's, it's, it's a global, he works with a global international company that is ranging, uh, working towards uh, the economy in and out of the country. And mm. uh, he'll be giving some details mm. and even some of the uh, the, 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 the negativity yes. that is brought about by betting and gambling mm -hmm. and uh, therefore if anybody comes there I'm sure I will get some. Uh, probably let me let me come back to you Mr. Muriungi. Mm. When we talk about young people and the skills that are needed in the marketplace. Yes. We, it's a broad it's a broad topic. Mm. How can you narrow it down in terms of the things that as young people once we leave high school or the campus what was something that we really need as pre sites? Right. Um, the first thing that we need that is paramount and key is passion. Mm -hmm. Because um, any driving venture uh, in, in Kenya or even outside Kenya today, yes. it's driven by 90% is passion. So you need, first of all, young people need to understand, do we have the passion? Do I have the passion mm -hmm. to do what I'm trying to, to do? Number two, when you realize that you have the passion to answer this, now you need to work with the people who have won it, who mm -hmm. have done it. We are not starting something from the blue moon. Right. We are starting something that men have started. Mm -hmm. So these young people can run to somebody and come in to you and tell, I want to start this kind of business. I want to start selling my ID. How can I do it effectively? What are the challenges? You benchmark with them. Yes. But the benchmarking is not also not good uh -huh. because <laughs> some of us, we have benchmarked, even Kenya itself, yes. we have done a lot of benchmarking, nothing is happening on the crowd. Mm -hmm. So the next item after benchmarking is the real doing it. You need to start from where you are. Right. Every business uh, needs, needs the first step. Mm -hmm. So our young people, they need to know, I have the passion. I have seen people who have done it, approach them. When I get the knowledge and the information, I need to start from somewhere. Wow. Yes, they need to it's do that. It's a process that you have narrated. Yes. From scratch all the way, growing all the way up. Exactly. Madam Judith, mm -hmm. when you look at the process that he has mentioned, do you think there's something that we need to address in terms of growing the young people into becoming who they want to be? Yes, more of the soft skills, mm -hmm. people skills, mm -hmm. just how to deal with people. And the other one that was, and is still there, how to handle failure. Yes. Because quite a number, when they try the first time and things don't work, mm -hmm. then they give up. Mm -hmm. So that building the, the tenacity within, mm -hmm. that even if I fail, I will make it. And you having examples of people who've done it and done it, if Edison gave up, we'd not have lighting in this yes, studio. Sure. Mm -hmm. So just telling real stories. And the other thing that we adults must do, let's be real. Mentorship is being real. That, that the people I mentor must sometimes see me when I'm down and how I come up. Because the picture they might have is, your life is perfect. You never had hard times. Mm -hmm. There are times we just don't have money. It just found legs and the responsibilities were many. Mm -hmm. They need to see, how do I handle that? So if those are all put in place, I think we will, we will educate them more than what we get in school, which is just head knowledge. When they come out, they ask me, like the other day a girl asked me a question. When I go home for holiday, mm -hmm. how will I keep away from bad company? It looks a very simple question. But question. Really in our days, we were told very mm -hmm. simple things. But I looked at this child, told me, my neighbor plays loud music. So that music keeps running in my, in my mm -hmm. mind. Mm -hmm. Around, I don't have, you know, things that look obvious, they're not obvious. Mm -hmm. So here is my take. Let the adults not assume, just teach. Mm -hmm. The Bible says train. Mm -hmm. Training takes time. Mm -hmm. It takes a process. Yes. It takes a relationship. Mm -hmm. Let us partner and just do our work, yes. not abdicate. Because mm -hmm. I may never know how to help a child mm -hmm. in detail if mm -hmm. I didn't bring them up. So basically, yes. Well put. <laughs> well put. <laughs> Mr. Eric, you had mentioned about something about peer pressure. Yeah. I want us to look at it from this angle of like, I have done a business or particular thing I want to begin as a business. Mm -hmm. Then apparently it fails. Then I'm looking at the people that are, that are really successful. Mm -hmm. And from my age, there are others. How do, we, how do we tackle all these issues that are really revolving around peer pressure? And when I look at others, they want me to do this, yet I don't want to do that because I've mm -hmm. failed in this particular initial one. Well, when, uh, w w when you get some resource persons that mm -hmm. have already done it before and uh, you sit with them, they will be in a position to give you some guidelines. I remember there is a certain speaker who is a millionaire today, actually said that uh, uh, he was working with a UN company 
and uh, he was earning some good money. But eventually, when he looks at the pay slip at the end of the month, there is no much to count. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I'm just waiting to solve problems, to pay bills. And that was not adding up to him. Mm. So what he did, he looked at some of the guys that have really made it in life. Mm. They have already uh, established uh, industries and they are excelling. Money is working for them. They are no longer working for money anymore. Mm -hmm. He went to six of them, mm -hmm. one after the other, one after the other. And eventually, even after dumping now the UN job, that guy is a millionaire today because he chose to sat with people mm -hmm. that are able to mentor him. Mm -hmm. Just as my dad puts it, sometimes you may fail, but that mm -hmm. is not the end of the story. You don't give up, you try again. Where you, 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 at least you have learned something. Yes. Yes. You are not as empty as, mm -hmm. as somebody mm -hmm. that has never begun. Mm -hmm. At least there is something that you did and then you have learned and therefore you will be scaling mm -hmm. a much higher level. When is it comes have something to, to add? Yeah, I'm seeing the, 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 the place of failure. Uh -huh. I think a moment you land into failure, yes. it gives you uh, tips and also a knowledge that mm. these are the mistakes I did, I should not do it again sure. if I have exactly. to start. Mm -hmm. Looking at uh, one man called Abraham Lincoln, yes. from the age of 21st, he started a business, it failed. He started a relationship in 25, it failed. Mm -hmm. He went to politics in 30, he failed as a senator. He mm -hmm. went again as a president, he failed. At 50, he becomes the president mm -hmm. of the US and then we was as he said I failed failure brought me to become a president mm -hmm. so I think also it's a matter of mindset mm -hmm. I'm failing today but I should not fail tomorrow because I've learned it mm -hmm. we should take it a moment of learning great. so that they cannot fail again great uh, l l let me let me probably just be before we wind up because our time is up let me probably hit on something about peer pressure mm -hmm. do you think the circle that you live with really impacts Yes. In the wrong way. It, it impacts. Uh, we cannot run away from that. Mm -hmm. Not even the young people, even us. The people around us, they affect our lives mm -hmm. positively or negatively. Yes. So we need to make authentic the friendships. All right. From that, we call it a wrap. But I want to give each and every one of you 30 seconds for a parting shot. I think we need to begin with you, Mr. Eric. Wow. Thank you so much. Uh, KSF is doing some good work and uh, it's all looking towards how to make better mm -hmm. the life that we are in and uh, when we look at the young people we it's not just about them alone there needs to be some support from across the board mm -hmm. the parents are involved the general public are also there not just to look at a problem happening and you're not doing anything about it i think there is time we need to review what mm -hmm. used to happen long time ago so that it's it's not a child for the parents alone mm -hmm. it's a child for the community Yes. And this, while put together, mm -hmm. is able to support. So let everybody take responsibility right. and all shall be well. All right, mm -hmm. everybody take responsibility, Madam Judy. One, yes. young people must learn the culture of saving. Right. Save 10 bob from every 100 shillings. Mm -hmm. It will work in the years to come. Two, the world is a stage. Let's play our part, act very well when we live, Le live a legacy, however small we are or however young we are. Yes. Um, to the young people outside there, especially them that are in school, uh, two, one by one, find uh, a passion that you have, pursue your passion, it will take you places, but don't go alone, don't walk alone, have somebody to walk with, people who have walked the same journey. And above all, we welcome you to our event. Great, that has been great to have you and I've really learned a lot of course from you and I know even our viewers have really learned a lot and this is the place to be on from 9th, that is this week from 9th all the way to 13th. As you have seen, Manze, these guys are loaded with information just for you. They're not only doing spiritual matters, they, of course they want to engage in terms of your entrepreneurship skills. How can you manage to engage? when you were given a seat with great men who have done business. How can you manage to do all this stuff? You can join them, of course, even as we try to do that. Barry is coming still along with the lady who does cakes. Just enough for you. See you. Wow.